History says stocks can go up even in a rising rate environment. What's your bigger worry around the rates and inflation right now? Yeah, so you're absolutely right. Historically speaking, stocks tend to do uh, pretty well uh, during periods of rising interest rates, especially the S&P uh, as, as a whole. Um, and it's, I mean, it's frankly just because if the if the Fed is thinking that the economy is moving strong enough and we're growing at a fast enough clip that it has to raise interest rates to help tamp down some of that in, uh, that inflation that we're feeling, underneath the surface, that has to mean that corporations and corporate profits are doing pretty well. It's just that it's happening in the backdrop of everybody's feeling this pinch uh, as you go to the gas pump and the grocery stores you just mentioned and uh, everywhere else. And so it's two things happening uh, at once that are kind of converging to create two completely separate themes. But historically, we'll see if the, the history proves out. Obviously, you know, past performance is no uh, guarantee of future performance. But uh, historically, we are told that we should see by the ha the second half of this year um, pretty good positive performance in the S&P. Yeah, and is that because the reason that we have inflation, there's two reasons. Number one, the supply mm -hmm. chain shutting everything down for a year and a half. We still have problems. It's by nowhere fixed, but we got to kind of clean through that. It may take years. But also because we have a fundamentally relatively strong economy, and we forget that. Inflation is often caused by simply more demand for fewer items, and so prices go up. And does that stronger economic story then maybe go more to the markets than just inflation itself? Well, yes and no. I mean, you, you just know that we have way too many dollars chasing far too many goods. And also, we have a lot of people. One of the key differences between this period and maybe the 1970s that everybody keeps hearkening back to when we saw inflation surge out of control. Similarly, uh, one of the key differences is the number of union jobs there were back there where wages were sort of fixed. They were negotiated by a labor union. And so they were on a consistent cost of labor adjustment, you know, 2 percent here, 3 percent there. And it was very predictable. And, you know, half the country uh, was earning uh, wages that way. And now companies aren't constrained by labor unions the way that they were before, something like the lowest level of union jobs we've ever seen in, in historical context in this country. And so companies have the ability to continue to wait, raise wages however they want to. And until the cap is put on that, we just saw Amazon double their uh, cap that they're willing to pay folks, their white collar workers at least, um, in those jobs. And part of the reason yeah. that we have the inflation we have is companies like Amazon can always pay more if they choose to. And we're competing out there at that grocery store for that pork chop yeah. that you're talking about with that raised Amazon salary. You might need that if you've been to, I don't know if Congress has been to the grocery store lately. I doubt they do their own shopping, Malcolm, but I know I have. And man, it's unbelievable. Very quickly, is there any part of the market that you like more than others right now? Healthcare. We're looking at healthcare broadly as an opportunity to see growth in your portfolio.